Hey guys, how you doing? So this is a tour of my Prius. Now it can easily sleep two people, but the way I have it right now, because there's no front seat, only one person can actually ride in it. Doug and I drove up here separately, so we did sleep in it, but he uh, obviously drove his truck. So let me just give you a quick tour of how it's set up. If you want to know a little more detail, I have a video on um, what we did here with the front seat removed and how we built the bay in the back. So we'll start here. Uh, we took the front seat out and we're using the Goal Zero to power this set power fridge. Now I used to have the 18 liter Dometic and that fit perfectly behind the front seat, but that broke. So we bought this fridge for the van and the only way for me to fit it in here was to take the front seat out so we're just trying this we can easily put the front seat back in in about 10 minutes not right now because we don't have it with us it's in massachusetts we're in north carolina right now near murphy north carolina at uh doug's brother and his wife's house they just got so doug came up so he could help his brother paint Okay, so we got the goals here on the front, and then I just have some other miscellaneous things there, bedpan and a container to dump pee in if I need to, or I can pee in that container. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use or both. I've got my blender here. It's real easy, I just use it right there and plug it in the goal zero. So I have the fridge here and some paper towels, and that's just where my tripod goes and a fire extinguisher. Now the fridge and goal zero is all strapped down with ratchet straps to the bolts that are in the floor for the seat. So I made this cushion here. We had a lot of foam left over. So I made this cushion for Bella and it just has a, a towel wrapped around it and some non-stick material on the bottom and just this rug on it. And under the rug, this is a note if I uh, leave Bella in the car, I leave this note in the window so nobody thinks that she's in trouble or in distress. I'm just keeping that under there for now. So sometimes I do deliveries for Uber Eats and DoorDash. So I don't want Bella having access to the food. If I don't want Bella in the front here, what I can do is I take this cushion and just turn it this way. And then Bella can get up here, but she's too scared to jump down to here. So I can put the bags of food here. I've got the DoorDash bag and the Grubhub insulated bag. So, so that's what I do. So Bella is separate from the food. I'm sleeping in here by myself. I could leave the Bella's bed right there for her to sleep in. But what I do when we're both in here, we put Bella's bed right there. So Doug and I have plenty of room back here. She's used to not sleeping in the bed with us but she does come in the bed in the morning and have morning snuggle time. Right, Bella? So this just looks normal. I do have some quarters here and some hygiene items here. I have a couple towels on the seat just to keep it clean and also if I need to use them or wipe down Bella or whatever. Just typical stuff. I keep some hygiene items there. And I also keep some hygiene items here in the glove boxes, in both of them. That way, when I'm sitting in the front seat, I can wash up and brush my teeth and put all my lotions on and all that. Now down here, I just keep uh, the window, the windshield shade cover. And I just keep like a bag here for trash. I move it around as I need it. And most importantly, I can hang here a spray bottle of water. Just kind of hang it on this strap. And this spray bottle here, has water and vinegar in it. I use the water and vinegar to clean dishes and anything in the in the car that needs to be cleaned and sanitized I use that. It's great to wash the windows with also. So I have a cell phone mount and this Dawn stick material that comes in very handy if you want to just stick your bottle cap on there or food or whatever when, you, when you're getting ready. You can put your hygiene items up there and they just don't slide around. I have this uh, paracord here 
maybe it's about 12 or so feet long. I just hook bell, it's got carabiners on the end, so I just hook belly to it when I just wanna stay close to the vehicle. This is the bed. It is a six inch tri-fold memory foam mattress. And I have that uh, Ellie Gear cooling comforter and another comforter. And this is a, a, like a waterproof adventure blanket, it's called. And I just put that over there to keep it clean from Bella. And also that towel is just a little bit added protection to keep it clean. And before I go to bed, I take off the towel and the adventure blanket and just tuck that away someplace. That way I'm always sleeping on something clean. And I sleep with two pillows, so I keep one here just to kind of keep the blanket smooth. And my, uh, my pillow is up there. So I also have a roll of paper towels here. This is Bella's slow feeder dish. I put her food in here, but I found out that I can actually put her water in here too, and it really doesn't spill. So I can keep it right here. I just put a little bit in at a time, and uh, I can drive around and it won't spill. There's a water jug over here in this cubby, a couple different sizes, and a couple gallons of water over there. When I want to buckle Bella in, uh, I was using the seatbelt, but we weren't sure if that would really catch. So Doug suggested we just put it on this, uh, this is the metal little loop here that you, the back seats would clip on. So I just have uh, two clips together and that way she has a little bit of room, but won't go flying. If she's not using that, she just has the run of the place. So as you see here, this wooden thing, let me show you what that is. So you take this out. And so it just kind of rests there on the door in the car. And it gives me a flat surface to either prepare food or use my cook stove. So I can easily drive uh, with just the bed down all the time. But if I need to really have better access under there, I flip the mattress up like this. You'll see this is where I store my window covers. Some of them anyway, there's more stored underneath the bed than the foot. So if I move those. So like I said, watch the video on how I made the bed if you wanna see it, or how we made the bed if you wanna see exactly how. I did make a little trap door there, kinda of hard to access. I have to move the mattress back a little bit more. And this flap, I think it's just like nine inches. That just flips up like that. I use paracord and carabiners to hook it to the headrest over there. And over here to lift this up a little bit, since there's no seat there. This is my jackets and sweatshirts. I'll put it like that. So that supports it better. Now let me move all that and show you what I've got back here just real quick. So right here is everything I need to cook with, pans and utensils and everything. And this is some food, this is the food that has to be cooked and some bags and stuff. And I keep a couple rags handy because you never know when you're going to need them. So this is a big container that came with hiking meals in it. So I bought a bunch of hiking meals and I keep some of Bella's extra canned food there. Oh, I better shut the door. Bella's going to knock her bed over and fall out. So this is a waste basket. It fits behind there pretty good. And it's just everything to do with Bella is in there except for her food. And that's just an extra bag of food that doesn't fit in the container. And especially food that doesn't have to be cooked that I want easy access to, I keep in there. So under there I have the Atlas and my drone and window cover and some pamphlets. They also have a big bright flashlight and another water bottle under there and an apron. When you're eating in the car it's handy to wear an apron, it keeps you clean. Right there I have the little desk, little clip-on desk for the steering wheel where you can eat out of or use your laptop or whatever. So that's everything that's just under that flap. I can access it without lifting the flap up, it's just a little tricky. 
So underneath the bed where the seats were removed, I keep my laundry, some sweatshirts, a fan, one of the batteries for my tools, some hiking gear. And also this container with car essentials goes under there. And on this side, I wanted to keep stuff that I need, I use all the time for Bella. This is uh, her bag that she goes in that hangs in the front of me. I take her into stores and stuff with it. Her leash and jacket are here. And this is the backpack that we use when we hike with her. So in addition, I have extra hygiene items that I don't need access to all the time. I keep it under here also. So that kind of looks like that. Just kind of shove them under there, but I can get at them really quick. And that's my everyday carry backpack. So if I'm going in someone's house or my laptop or whatever, I just grab that. If I'm gonna take a shower somewhere, I'll just throw my hygiene items in there. I have a separate container with my shower items than what's in the front. So that usually I can just squish in there, that way nobody sees it and tries to steal it. So that's what all that looks like. I also have some shoes under there also. There's actually room to spare, so if I wanted to add anything, I could. When I, I use these clips to kind of hold the blanket here so it doesn't get all messed up while Bella's running around. That way it keeps everything clean. So just like in my last Prius, I have this little thing that slides out that I can use to put things on. It's a little flimsy, that's why I don't wanna use a cook stove here. So in the basement, what I call the basement storage, um, I have this little dowel to hold it up. But I have my winter hat. This is uh, socks and underwear and undergarments. Keep some stuff back there. And I've got pants and shirts and shorts are back there. And just a coffee cup. <laughs> you like the incline there, Bella? So underneath the basement is the spare tire, which has some space on top of it. So I have some uh, tools that I don't need very often and like an air compressor and stuff and the batteries for it. It's a pain to get to, so it's only for stuff that I don't need very often. By the way, my Etsy shop, Let's Live Differently, is uh, the link is in the description. This is the logo that Doug and I created, and we had made for us. It says, take your life to go. Uh, this is one of the bags that I'm selling. I also have t-shirts. I'll show you one right now. So that's everything that I can think of to show you. It's been working out great. I'm really happy with it. It's really comfortable. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.